Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, we're doing a video on cleaning and re-greasing uh, the linkage bearings. Uh, since I've taken in that previous one, you saw me take out the uh, suspension, we're replacing that. So it's a perfect time to uh, clean up these, clean all the grease out, and, uh, and then repack it with grease. I've been, now you've got to remember, um, I've never done it before, so I'm just trying this out. I've got to keep saying that because if anybody who hasn't watched any of my other videos and don't uh, know me, I'm just a bloke buddy having a go at this stuff. So I'm not an expert. Um, if anything, this just kind of like shows you that, you know, some idiot like me can, can you know, have a go and, and most of the time get it bloody done. <laughs> a lot of the time it's done the bloody hard way, but <laughs> it gets done. So, you know, always just, you know, double check things and not everything I say is bloody right and correct and whatever. Um, another good thing, and that's what I find really great with, um, with the YouTube and the videos, is check the comments from, every, uh, from the other guys. Um, or, you know, if you're going to make a comment, you know, make a comment for me and it's also for, you know, other people that watch it. So have a look through those comments and you pick up little bits and pieces, you know, that I might have said wrong. All right, so, so as I said, that's... The linkage, I've checked out um, other videos, watching people how they do it. Most of the stuff that you see, it's um, with dirt bikes and stuff like that. I haven't found anything with the DR650. Um, and also, oh, DRZ400 seems to be pretty popular. It must be because they're, you know, they're more, I don't know, it's not tourists. Touring people maybe don't do this stuff, or they just don't video it, I don't know. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to do is bring it down and just show what I'm going to clean down there. One thing I've noticed, I don't know whether it's different types of bikes or whatever, but it all seems to be about this. But I know on the DR down here, and I'll show you. So I've noticed there's um, this here. Now obviously that has um, needle bearings in that as well. So that has to be done, um, cleaned up and re-greased as well. So I don't know whether on the other videos or the other motorcycles don't have a system like this or they just don't bother to show that one, I'm not too sure. So that has to be cleaned up. And uh, this here, which is just the, the frame where the linkage bolts to the frame, I'll just give that a quick clean up. There's no bearings or anything in that section. All right guys, so they say, make sure that you have a clean uh, surface to work on. Um, have some bloody rags or paper towel, stuff like that. Um, now to clean the linkage, or the, this linkage bloody setup, I'm pretty sure you can get away with Kero or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but um, I'm going to use this bloody Maxima suspension clean just because I've had it there and I thought I've never used the bloody stuff because I've never had to really clean suspension or, or anything. So I'm going to use that. It's like it's a solvent. It um, yeah, you spray it on it basically just gets rid of the crap and um, and then it just evaporates away and doesn't leave anything uh, no film or anything like that left on it I saw in a video a guy was using this Maxima um, contact cleaner um, and he was just spraying that in cleaning out all the needle bearings and everything um, I use that a lot that's really good stuff so I reckon they're most probably pretty much the same type of thing and this is more targeted towards electrical connections and stuff like that Obviously the other thing we need is grease, so waterproof grease, that's just Maxima stuff. Obviously everything that I do with this stuff, it's all Maxima. Um, I reckon it's pretty bloody good, but I'm not the bloke that knows everything, obviously. Um, so whatever you've got, run with it. Okay, so we've got to get down and uh, clean that up, that uh, bottom thing up. So we'll go do that. Alright, so this is simple, just spray this shit on. Give it a quick wipe up. You don't have to normally wipe it, but if there's some gunk, big gunky stuff on there, obviously this will help get that stuff off. Obviously, I don't think this is very um, imperative to do this part, but if you're gonna do something, you might as well bloody try your best, eh? All right, I'll just play the last bit of shit on that. There you go. That should be a done deal. 
So now I've still got that, I've still got that to do up, up there. Um, but I'm not going to do this, I'm going to go, oh, we'll leave that till last. I'll go up and start on those, uh, on the linkage themselves. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is to spray this stuff all over it. I'm not taking the bolts out, I just want to get the bulk of the gunk off before I start opening everything up. I won't bore you with this, I'll just start wiping all this up and then I'll come back to you. Alright, so any of the bulk of the bloody stuff that was on there is off, which there wasn't much anyway. Oh, don't lose your nuts. So what I'm going to do is pull out all these and I'll inspect them all and I can see on this one I've got quite a bit of uh, gunk on there or oh, it's like it's had gunk in there and it's really just might have to get a fine bit of really fine bit of like wet and uh, what is it wet and dry sandpaper on that just to smooth all that up same with these uh, washers get all them cleaned up There's the, oh wow, they're really, really light. So there are your dog bones. Same deal. I'll clean them all up properly and uh, check them all out. That bolt looks pretty bloody good actually. But uh, give it all a nice clean up. I got this back one and that was, that seems really nice too. That was nice and uh, greasy. But clean them all up. So, so far, only this bolt here seems like it was uh, lacking in grease at, so, at uh, some stage and looks a bit shit. Now, the one out of the top, if you've seen the previous video about removing the suspension, the bolt that goes in there um, was stuck and I had to bloody basically drill it out. <clears throat> the bolt that goes off the top of the, uh, the shock absorber in the top part of the frame it's exactly the same bolt that goes through and then threads into the other part but I've got to get a new one for that but just yeah just for your reference all right so I'm going to clean up all these and I'll uh, maybe have a bit more of a show on that thing but I'll clean all these up yeah it might be that I've got to get a not a wire brush but a nylon bit of a toothbrush or something just try and clean up all this stuff if I find any uh, stubborn bits like that there, I just get a bit of uh, wet and dry, really fine stuff. Just clean it up like that. This is most probably doing um, overkill. But I'm having fun doing it, so hey, why not? Beautiful. Alright guys, so all these uh, have been cleaned up. Dog bones come up really good. Used a bit of wet and dry on them and it just just take it's just the surface stuff. Same with these washers. They're all cleaned up. The bolts have all been cleaned up, but there's two. There's this one and this one. Uh, this one not so much, but you can just slightly feel that there's you know difference. Um, you know, it's not dead smooth. This one here is fine, but this one here is the worst. Um, out of the lot, so I'm going to give these uh, these two a shot with the wet and dry. But I'm not sure whether it's grease or dirt or whether it's actually marked the actual metal of the bolt. So by doing this, basically, this is just going to take any surface gunk off it's not it's very oh look at that yeah that's cool all right give that a wipe <clears throat> so there you go that's now nice and smooth so i don't know whether it was just gunk on there or i'd say it was so hopefully the other bolt comes up the same Okay, so there you go guys, um, that's those bolts fixed up, they're really nice and smooth now. I don't reckon I've, if anything, I think I've done good, not bad. Um, yeah, whether it's overkill, I don't know, but like I said, it can only do good. 
All right, so now we've got to get stuck into this, um, the linkage uh, housing thing. <laughs> oh, another thing, actually. Um, it's a good idea to take photos, so with your, your phone or bloody camera or something, a photo of bits and pieces as they were before you pulled them apart. Because if you're anything like me, when you pull them apart, then you start thinking, shit, which way did that go and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you're not a crazy bastard like me and you're not uh, videotaping all this shit, <laughs> Um, it's always good to have something to look back at. All right, into the linkage. All right, guys, so obviously we've got three. These ones here have a rubber dust cap on them. Whereas this one here doesn't. There is, that's where I believe these washers go over. So I'm going to start with this one on. I, I would think it's best to do one at a time purely because there's needles in there. So what we're going to do is basically just gently, I might just see if I can get this closed up, close up. Okay, hopefully see that. So just gently pull that out, because you, here we go, coming out. So let's see if you can see in there. It's hard doing this. <laughs> Pull that out. Can you see? There you go, you might be able to see that now. All those little um, needle bearings. Cool. So basically, we've just got to clean all the grease up, and make sure there's no marks and stuff on this. I've put this um, yellow piece down just so that, just in case one of those needles falls out that it doesn't fall onto the black and I don't see it. Got to be very careful not to lose any of those. So that looks pretty good. Well, it feels pretty good. Obviously, you're going to have wear, wear. You can be able to see wear on them. But yeah, they're in pretty good nick. <clears throat> all right I'm just uh, show you this because obviously this is where the bolt goes through now remembering the bolt was a pretty claggy so obviously on the inside of this is going to be pretty claggy so I've got to try and clean as best we can in there and remember I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just bloody doing this as I go figuring it out so obviously I think just doing something like that might give that a pretty good clean. Oh, you can see in there it's pretty gunky. Well, I've cut off a bit of that uh, wet and dry and just rolled it up so that I can get it in the hole. Um, so basically, hope, yeah, look at that. See all that shit coming off from inside. So hopefully doing this. Obviously, it's not going to affect the metal as much because it's just getting the gunky stuff off and making that nice and smooth in there as well. All right, we'll give that a spray. Hopefully, yeah, look at that, beautiful. God, I'm winning. So now you can see in there that that is now nice and clean. So the clean bolt can go into that clean sleeve. Love it! <laughs> All right, so now we've got to clean the inside of here. So you can see those needles. And obviously you just... You won't be able to pick this up on the thing, but I can, as I do that, I can see them turning around. But basically, I'm just looking to see if there's anything abnormal. And everything looks pretty good in there, so we're just going to bloody try and clean that out. So all we're doing is uh, getting rid of the grease. Whoop. 
Shit, that come off. And remember, we're always making sure the needle doesn't jump out. <clears throat> cool. So any of that solvent that I've put in there uh, will just evaporate out of there. So that basically is cleaning it. Now all I've got to do is put grease in it. But I'll just let this. I'll just wait a few minutes to make sure it fully dries, and um, then pack it with grease. Alright guys, so that solvent stuff that I use should be now totally dry. So I'm just giving it another quick check, make sure all these rubber um, housings look like they're all in good nick. As well as all the rollers as well. And that all looks pretty good. So now all I've got to do is get some grease. And um, stick it in there apparently. Now, I'll most probably put too much in here, but I'd rather waste the grease than uh, not put enough in there. Because basically when I put that spacer in there, it's going to push whatever grease it doesn't need out. Which you don't put back in your grease pot, obviously, because it could have got picked up something in it. I'm talking like I know what I'm bloody talking about. You know I don't. <laughs> oh, God, it's sticky stuff. All right. Oh, gonna have to dirty up my little finger. Just make sure that gets right in. To all the rollers. Now we just grab that and make sure that's still all clean. And then by rights, we should be able to just pop this back in. And as we're popping this in, we're just gonna make sure we don't, um... oh. I felt a bit funny going in. be in there. No needles came out. <clears throat> Clean up that excess grease. I reckon that's a bloody job done. So remember guys, no expert. The actual techniques that I'm doing may not be bloody correct. Check out people that know. Um, but just showing you that, you know, the average bloke can have a go and do it. So now I've just got to do these other two, which are a little bit different, only because they have uh, a little bit different setup, but it's going to be pretty much the same. All right, so same deal with this one. So I've taken that off. Obviously, I've got to clean up that rubber thing there. Same on the other side. Clean all that um, old grease out and whatever dirt's gotten in there. So now I get to push this out. Wow, look at that. That's nice and greased up, that one. Look at that. And then in here, let's see. So you can see all those little needles, they're right close to the edge there. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to do both. See, I've got this um, this other one that I've done protected, so when I'm spraying the solvent, it doesn't get in there. I'm going to take these two off. So there, just make a note that they are a different size. So I've got to remember. Well, actually, you can pretty much tell. I think I don't think I could put put that on there. Yeah. Okay. So I can't really get that wrong. Right, same deal. Oh, get that over there. It's really hard doing this while I'm trying to video. 
Same with that one, push that out, remembering not to lose any of the needles. Out. Right. That one was greased right on the edge, more so than anywhere else. I'll have a quick look at that one. <clears throat> That's in there. Alright, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with this one. I'm going to spray all that stuff in there and get all that grease out. All these, I'll get spray them, clean them all up. Again, these will be all sprayed, cleaned up. I can tell that I'm not going to have to do any uh, work on those bearings. And the inside, so that one must have been the bolt that must have been pretty good. Well, they look pretty good on the inside, but once I clean it up, I'll be able to see. And then I'll just uh, come back to you when I start to pack them with grease again. All right, guys, I just want to show you, I've just been cleaning all this up, and it's cleaning up really good. But in here, oh, I'll just try to get this bloody camera. Can you see? So there's a row here, there's a row at the end, but in the middle there shouldn't be. Can you see those needles? I was just bloody touched these, and they jumped out and went into there. Uh, and I'll just see if I can go up. You can see them where they're missing out up the top. So now I'm going to have to stuff around to try and get them back in. And hopefully they're all the ones that I'm missing and there's nothing that's actually jumped out. Oh, there, look. I thought I saw a couple jump out. So there's a couple there that um, have jumped out. All right, I'll come back when I bloody uh, get that sorted. Oh, guys, all right, I'm fixing me stuff up. So I've got all the needles in, so I didn't lose any, which was really good. Um, but yeah, on this particular one, the needles were... The problem that it is, washing it out with this, once you wash them all out, there's nothing really... The, the grease kind of like sticks them together and sticks them against the wall. So using cleaning them out that way made them all unstable and they fell out. So I've just been slowly but slowly got them all in. I'm using a bit of grease um, helps. So now I'm just packing them all up, but I'm just doing it really, really um, carefully. <laughs> all right, I'll see you a bit further on. Oh, well, there you go, have a look. Cool. Okay, so I got that all packed up. That's all pretty cool. Make sure I wiped off any of the grease that's on the outside because you don't want that. This one here, this one seems like it sits in a um, some type of sleeve. So these ones don't seem to want to come out as easy as what that, that one did. So you can see, so I've just cleaned it. I'll just make a note that having, having this with the, the pressure pack and being able to squirt in there and obviously a stream is really good because it kind of like forces the stuff out. In this particular one, there seem to be a couple of, only tiny, but tiny bits of clumps that uh, I was managed to just uh, square it out and just yeah, ended up out here. So this is now ready to uh, be greased up. Hope I'm not boring anybody, but anyway, <laughs> crazy. All right guys, well there you go. That's the linkage bearings all um, greased up. Cleaned up and greased up. So obviously I can't put all this back because I've got to wait for that stuff to come back. So obviously when we when I'm putting the bolts through, um, I've got to remember to put a bit of grease on there. Um, cool. So I've only got that last one to uh, that's actually the last bearing or thing, whatever it is, that's on the uh, swing arm. I'll bring you down there and we'll have a look at that. All right. So I just quickly cleaned up just around that. I'm just going to push this out. These needles really bloody scare me now. <laughs> but it... Uh, Alright. Oh, they look like good ones. The ones that don't jump out too much. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice. Real good nick. I'll put this over on the desk and then I'll have a look in there. Alright, so there you go. 
So that was like that other one that I just did that seems to have like the rubber housing of some description in between the rollers. Right. Plenty of grease in there. But, uh, we'll pack some more in there. We'll give it a bit of a clean up. And uh, yeah, I'll, no, I will. I'll, I'll, <laughs> nearly going to go, I'll just put some grease in, but no, I'll do the right thing, give it a clean up, and uh, re grease it. I just grabbed that sleeve that I grabbed out that I said was really um, in good nick. I was just having a look, and this just kind of give you guys a heads up to make sure you have a look on the inside of these where the bolt goes through. Hopefully, you can see that. I don't know if it's my eyes not focusing or the camera, but you can see the crud in there, so I've got to clean that out. Cool. Well, I just like to make things hard for myself, apparently. Maybe I shouldn't have washed that one out. <laughs> There's a uh, O-ring that I just... I, I squirted all that stuff through, then I got a chucks, and I fed the chucks, rolled the chucks up, and then just fed it through it. It's obviously grabbed hold of a, um, an O-ring. Now, I don't know where it has come from so I've got to work that out I haven't had a look yet but you can just see that o-ring is sitting in there and now it's popped out of somewhere and now I've got to figure out where it's come from and put it back in <laughs> I might have to go to the manual or do some searching but I'll just have a quick look and come back to you yep Dickhead, like I said, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright guys, so I bloody looked and looked in this bloody thing, trying to find where this O-ring was uh, supposed to go. Couldn't find, I'd searched the bloody web, and of course you're searching for O-ring and all that kind of stuff. That uh, O-ring, which is, you'll see, it's half hanging out there now. I've obviously found where to put it. It's actually a metal spring, tiny metal spring. And what it does is it actually sits, there's a flap there that you can move up and it sits in behind there. Obviously to keep the plastic, well not the plastic, the rubber or whatever it is, um, from kind of like pushing in, it just holds it out. Once I knew it was a, um, a metal one, I kind of like started to think, okay, that's, would be, that's what it would be for. So anyway, I found it. So if by any chance one of you guys uh, are doing it and that bloody pops out, you may as well be not as stupid as me to put a, a dishcloth and wrap it through. And obviously what happened is it lifted up the flap and that um, O-ring got caught onto the um, dishcloth. And as it came through, it got left in there. So anyway, there you go. It's always a bloody adventure with me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish putting that in. And uh, I think that should be it. But I'll talk to you up there. Well, there you go guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I've got that O-ring in, so that's not a problem. I re-put all the grease in into that thing and uh, put the sleeve in. So that's that's all set, you can see it down there now. Um, I just want to make a note, because someone might have, some of you guys might have picked up on it. I'd finished doing this one and then I was moving on to that one and I'd said I'd finished it and I had this on, but when you, because I, I was looking at the footage, I could see that you could look through there and you could see that I forgot to put the uh, the sleeve into it so I thought I'd just let you know don't worry I remembered to put the sleeve in or <laughs> well, realized I hadn't put it in <coughs> I'll bring you over and just have a look at it I think I'm pretty impressed with myself actually that I've been able to do all this well everything's nice and clean and uh, when I get all that gear I'll be able to slot it all in and hopefully she'll be pretty bloody good Time will only tell if I've if I've done it right. I'm sure you guys, if you've seen me doing something stupid or wrong, you'll bloody comment in the comments and let me bloody know. Obviously, I'll get those comments before I put it all back anyway, so that might be a saving. Normally, I've already put stuff back and whatever, but anyway. All right, guys, keep on riding. <laughs>